Hello, it is Reviews Day Tuesday, it is the Quiet as Mouse Book Club, and today I will be talking about Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Great Expectations is the tale of the young orphan boy Pip, who has been brought up by his violent sister and her wonderful husband Joe. In his childhood, he meets three people who go on to have a profound effect upon his life. One is an escaped convict who Pip provides food for before he is recaptured, and the other two are the reclusive Miss Havisham and her beautiful adopted daughter Estella. After his humble beginnings, Pip comes into some money and goes to live as a gentleman in London, but the these three people continue to haunt and influence his life. I enjoyed this book, I find Charles Dickens very easy to read and this book was no exception. As in the previous Dickens books I have read, I found the characters in this to be particularly strong. Miss Havisham is an extremely interesting character, one of the most interesting characters I have read. And then there are other characters like Herbert Pocket, Joe, Wemmick, who are very well painted and jump out of the page. I'd probably say that Pip is one of the least interesting characters in the book. He can be a little dull, and he does make quite a lot of questionable decisions, which can be frustrating for a reader, but it also makes the book quite an unusual and involving read. This is the fourth or fifth Dickens book I have read, and I found it to be the easiest to follow. To me, it didn't feel as complicated or as labyrinthine. There were less side plots, I didn't feel like I was being drowned in characters. Little Dorrit, for instance, is my favourite Charles Dickens, but by the end I did feel like I was drowning in characters a bit. I really enjoyed this book. It's not my favourite Dickens, but I think it's quite a good early Dickens to read, because one, it's not too intimidating in terms of plot and characters, and two, there have been a lot of adaptations of it, so there are lots of ways of getting into the story. Great, the next book I'll be reviewing on the 2nd of December is My Drunk Kitchen by Hannah Hart, and then the next book review will be on the 16th of December, and I kind of wanted that to be a Christmassy book because it will be my last Quiet as Mouse book club before Christmas. Ideally it would have been a Christmas Carol to keep with the Charles Dickens theme, but I've already read it. But I have come up with, I think, an excellent alternative in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. I have been meaning to read The Chronicles of Narnia for years and years and years, and now the time has come and I am very excited. That's my Reviews Day Tuesday for this week. Do let me know what you think about Great Expectations if you have read it. I hope you have a good day and see you tomorrow.